Hi, I'm Dr. Jason Kryan, an entomologist at the New York State Museum. I'm Dr. Roland Kays, the curator of mammals at the New York State Museum. Today we're going to be putting on a demonstration we call Cooking the Tree of Life. Now the Tree of Life is an idea that was first introduced by Charles Darwin. And Darwin thought that all things that are living today were, uh, are related through history through a series of branching diagrams. And when viewed as a diagram, this, this set of histor historical events looks like a tree. Now our biggest connection with life is by eating it. Everything we eat was alive, or is alive, and therefore everything we eat can be seen on the tree of life. Now, typically when we think of our food, our perspectives uh, uh, take into account things like calories, fat, uh, proteins, but today we're going to do something different, and through the series, we're going to do something different. The chefs are going to help us uh, with a new perspective, that is, an evolutionary perspective of our food. Now, we have a lot of ingredients we could work with. There are over 10 million different types of, of life on Earth, so we have to focus a little bit. Today, we're going to focus on four of the main branches of the tree of life, plants, vertebrates, invertebrates, and mushrooms. Great. So today in our demonstration of cooking the tree of life, we, we've enlisted three local chefs to help us with the uh, cooking of the tree of life. First, Tony Gastratus from the Lake George Club, Tim Warnock from U.S. Food, and David Britton from the Springwater Bistro in Saratoga. 